Good morning, honey. I was just getting your breakfast ready. I know you're in a rush to get to the office, but first, I wanted to give you a little something. It's this. Some special chocolate I bought just for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, I know you didn't get anything for me yet. You always pick something up on the way home. But the stores must be so crowded. If you can't get anything this time, I just want you to know, it's okay. But in the meantime, have this chocolate with your coffee. I was told it should pair very well. Well, how was it? That's great. Then it was worth the money. Yeah, you know how these fancy chocolates are always so expensive. But if I can't spend money on a Hallmark holiday, then when can I? <laughs> now eat up before you're late. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed the food, dear. Oh, don't worry about anything. I'll clean up those dishes. You just head off to work. I'll see you tonight. Wait, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> I guess that'll do for now. Have a good day. Oh, honey, you're back so soon. Did you have a good day at... Oh, what... What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Grabbing me like this and <laughs> kissing my neck so passionately? I see. So those chocolates really did work, just as advertised. I thought Laura was exaggerating when she recommended them to me, but it looks like it's true. For the next 24 hours after someone eats them, their heart and mind will slowly be filled with thoughts of the person they received the chocolates from. She said it would be mild at first, so it was best to give it in the morning. And then it should peak at the 23 hour mark. It's only the 10th hour, and he's already like this. Poor thing. You must have been holding yourself back all day. I guess I have quite the night ahead of myself. Hmm, this is fun, but it can wait. Husband, stop. Settle down. Wow, just like they said. Complete control with any verbal command. You can't even move a muscle. But I'm not doing this to torture you. Husband, have a seat on the sofa before your legs give out. Very good. This is perfect. We have a happy marriage, but I'm sure we can both agree we are seriously overdue for some excitement. But don't worry, it looks like I have that covered. Don't you agree, husband? <laughs> good answer. But referring to you as husband is such a boring default. They said I could change it to anything, but to who? Or what? Hmm. I'm not some dominatrix, so I don't want to call him anything mean. <laughs> oh wait, I've got just the thing. Husband, for the rest of tonight, your name is Good Boy. Yep, it's perfect. Do you like the sound of that, my good boy? <laughs> I knew you would. Well, good boy, what should we do tonight? And I want you to be honest. You always try to put me first, focus on my happiness, when we should focus on our happiness. So I guess I'm overcompensating. But tonight is going to be all about your happiness. So what do you really want to do? Huh? 
I know I asked you to be honest, but that's a bit of a surprise. You just want me to pamper you? I knew it. You try not to show it, but I know your work is stressing you out. Especially with the late nights you've been pulling. And that's just the stress that I know about. If there's anything else worrying you, you always keep it to yourself until it's finally solved. I admire how resourceful you are, but you don't need to do things alone. I know you're not supposed to remember anything I say, but this is an order. Even after the chocolate effect wears off, you are going to be more honest with me from now on. Understood? Perfect. That's my good boy. It would be nice if it stuck, but at least for tonight I can care for you. Come here, into my arms. Give me a big hug and close your eyes. Just focus on my voice for now. You are my good boy. And you deserve all the praise and positivity I can offer you. In fact, you deserve more. I know it. Even if you don't. You are my good boy. One of the most hard-working people I know. You're an asset to your office and to any place you've decided to work at later. You should be proud of everything you've accomplished in your career because you are my good boy, the kindest, most compassionate man I know. I know it, your friends know it, I'm certain a lot of your co-workers know it. You just can't hide that beautiful heart of yours. And I wouldn't want you to, because you are my good boy. I will always be here by your side, and I know you will always do the same, because we make a great team. But if you could open up a little bit more, we would be unstoppable, because I trust you, and I love you, with all of my heart, my good boy. I really hope part of you can remember this tomorrow, but on the other hand, I might be too embarrassed. No, I definitely would die of shame if you remembered too much of this. Let's, uh, change the subject. Anything else you want to do? A massage? I can't even remember the last time you asked me for that. I really wasn't expecting that. It's fine, of course, but why do you ask? I get it. Of course, anyone would get a stiff back if they have to sit at a desk all day. But you really must have wanted to ask all this time. Okay, I may not be professional, but I can still figure something out. Just, uh, lie down on the couch, on your stomach. Well, here goes. How is it? Am I pressing too hard? Really? Go harder? Well, if you say so. Is that better? <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. I'll keep going like this then. I just need my good boy to relax for me. Goodness, your shoulders. Is it okay if I press a little harder up here? Got it. I will. I really hope you can be more honest about this too. Even after tonight. You should know I don't mind. That's enough? You sure? Okay then. Well, did it help? Even a little bit? Ah, <sighs> okay, good. I'm so glad you finally let me help you like this again. 
So, what should we do next? Uh, oh, I see. It is getting late. I'm proud of you for holding back all this time, but now... Well, how would you like to spend the rest of the night being a bad boy? I think you sound a little too excited, but who am I to judge? Now come on, let's go to the bedroom. It's time for you to give me my Valentine's gift. <laughs>